Hey everybody, how are you doing today? We are going to look over a movie called The Twelve Dates of Christmas. And well, everyone has seen that one movie that you go into it thinking that it's going to be awful. You've seen stuff online and you're like, oh god, that looks awful. And you go ahead and you watch it and you're like, you know, that was honestly pretty good. And well, The Twelve Dates of Christmas is that for me. And, well, what is it? Uh, the Twelve Dates of Christmas was a made-for-TV movie that premiered on the Freeform channel. And well, it's simply about a girl who continue, who has a horrible bad has a horrible bad day because she didn't get a particular like she she lost her chance out on having a particular loved one in her life. She lo missed the chance of having a boyfriend, and well, she continuously relives the same day over and over again until everything is perfect. And you know what? Based on that alone, you would understand why I would think that this movie is bad. You would understand why I thought that this movie was going to be bad. But surprisingly, I didn't think that this movie had the potential to be that good, but it was. It was really, really good. And I am very pleased to say that this is an excellent made for an excellent movie. And it, it goes beyond just being a made for TV movie. If this thing was actually released on like um if this thing was actually released in theaters, to be honest with you, I would say go see it because this is honestly a really good movie. Now, the main reason I say that this is a good movie as well, the characters. I mean, sure, the characters are stereotypes. We've got the hopeless romantic. We've got we've got the pretty yet snobby best friend. We've got the co-worker that hits on other co-workers. We've got the perfect blind date. We've got the ex-boyfriend that the hopeless romantic is still into, except he's proposing to another girlfriend. Except where you think it's going to go, it doesn't go. Within the first 20 minutes of this movie, I thought I had it all figured out. I thought, okay, her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend is about to propose to her, is about to propose to his girlfriend at the time. And so I was thinking that she's gonna be able to utilize all this, all of the um, the repeating days, to find a way to sabotage their relationship in order for him to realize that maybe his girlfriend isn't that good, isn't that good at all. And then they would get together, and then uh, our main character and the ex boyfriend would get back together, and they'd be all happy and all that. But that's not what happened, and I'm so happy about that. Instead, what happens is well. She, on the very first day, she had this horrible blind date. And, well, over the course of the repeating days, she basically doesn't take the time to try and find a way to get back with her ex-boyfriend. She takes the time to get to know her blind date better and use this to her advantage. She starts to learn a whole bunch of these skills to make every day better. Like, she learns how to cook. She learns how to put up lights and all this new stuff. And overall, her days keep getting better and better. And rather than trying to get with her ex-boyfriend, she's actually there to, like, say, I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're going to propose to your, your new girlfriend. In other words, she's moving on. And her character is learning something. That's what I am so happy about with this movie. It's, it's not cliché. Instead, the character learns. There's a character arc. She goes from one place into the next. She learned something. And that's what I liked about this movie a ton. But the thing is, is that with everything I am saying, you pretty much already know the movie then. Because this, it's, the tone is exactly how you're thinking it's going to be. At first, it's going to be all sad and mopey and dopey. But then it comes back with a wonderful tone. And it's all happy and just so nice to be around. And, I mean, though the tone is good, it's, it's very cliche, it's very predictable, very formulaic. But, that's it. That's my only complaint with this movie, honestly, is that it's formulaic, it's predictable, and all that. So, let's just say this. The Twelve Dates of Christmas is not a movie that you... How do I say it? It's just... It's a good movie... And you should watch. It's a very, very, very good Christmas movie. It is, uh, it's a very sweet movie to watch. And I'm honestly really happy that I had watched it. Because if I didn't watch it, I honestly would be doing the review. And I honestly would, would be thinking that the movie's awful. But luckily I did. And I'm here to say this. The 12 Dates of Christmas gets a 9 out of 10. Okay, well, there we go. We just went over the 12 dates of Christmas, and so, there we go. 
Um, I hope that particular person out there who made me watch this movie enjoyed the review. And I hope everyone else did too. And I hope you guys have a great day, evening, night, whatever the heck time you're watching this. And you know what? I'll see you next time.